hey sweeties welcome back to my channel today we have a hair install and styling video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to start off we're going to slick our natural hair back using the got to be blast freezing spray and then i get an old toothbrush and just brush all my hair back you guys can use the normal got to be gel but i just don't have it so i use what i have then i get a stocking put it over my head back again with the blasting free spray spraying that all in front on my hairline to be honest i should have gotten it a bit more forward but it's okay we move then i tie a hair tie you do not have to do this step if you have a hair dryer you can use a hair dryer but i don't so as i said i use what i have and we keep it moving then i wait 10 minutes after 10 minutes i remove it it should have dried completely then i grab a pair of scissors and then begin to cut the rest of the stocking off this right here is me attempting to do the bald cap method which is mad because this is my very first time and if i can do it surely you can and yeah since it is my very first time i see a lot of mistakes um that i will improve in the future but yeah we move so as you can see my cap is not completely stuck down especially in the front which i think can happen and is just something that's very common especially on the ear tabs so i'm just gonna put a bit more blasting free spray and then move it forward with my fingers and press down on the cap so that the beginning of the cap is really really flat as I've mentioned, this is my first time and I can already pick up on mistake number one, which is I have quite a bit of hair sticking out. So I probably should have sprayed the got to be a bit more forward. I'm going in now with my foundation. I like to put a little bit on my hand first so I can be able to control how much foundation I put on and not just waste foundation. Um, yeah, so I dab it with a beauty blender and then I go in with powder just to set it and make sure that the foundation doesn't move around this is a 30 inch hd lace frontal wig as you can see the lace is pretty thin unfortunately it's not washed i wore it last week but yeah the lace is thin Then I get my ghost bond glue, which I purchased from Take A Lot. It actually came with two caps, which is the one that I'm wearing now. I'm making small dots on my wig cap. I should actually be making them in front of my wig cap, I think. I don't know, but it, it doesn't matter. A little extra around the ear tabs. Please don't forget the ear tabs. They're so iffy. Um, and then I spread the glue with a comb. It is suggested to use a ragtail comb, but I don't have one. And as I said, I use what I got. Make sure that your dots are small so that the layer of glue can be thin and it can dry quickly because you need the dry, uh, glue to actually dry clear. I only used one layer. I put on my wig and start bringing it forward in sections. You don't want to rush this process. I know I've sped through and I made this video a bit faster, but you really do not want to go too fast here. And you want to continuously brush any hairs back so that they don't get stuck. Um, the lace is the only thing that should be getting stuck onto the glue. Use your comb to lay the lace flat especially the front part and the ear tabs as i said the ear tabs always want to flap up so you really need to just make sure you stick them on but it's okay if the wig is not looking like it is completely melted don't worry about it trust me at the end of the process it will definitely be melted and just coming out of your scalp So 
so this is me thinking about doing edges oh god please be with me my god i'm not really good with hair so i really wanted to try these edges out and i think it came out cute and whatever comment in the comment section below if you think it's cute as well but yeah i'm not really good at edges at this rate i'm just experimenting and we'll see how it goes I decided to tie the rest of my hair back and just only have the hair that I pulled out for my edges. So I'm cutting the hair that I pulled out for my baby hairs slash edges. Um, yeah, I'm cutting it shorter so it's easier to work with. I may or may not continue to cut the hairs a bit shorter. Got in some mousse to now try attempt doing baby hairs. Mistake number two, please do not put as much mousse as I have and especially on the lace because your lace will lift a bit. Mm. Try get it on your baby hairs more. I don't know if that's making any sense. Don't follow this step. I'm not good with baby hairs so I'm actually gonna try do them off camera. Ta-da! Don't ask me how I did it. Like, I can't even believe I did this myself, child. Getting more of that got to be spray onto my lace. Now this, this is the step. Make your lace literally disappear and your hair come from your skull. Got this hair band from Hair City at the Mall of Africa. Now I've got my Tresemme curling wand that I got from Discam. Please don't forget to use heat protector when using hot combs or irons or curling ones. This one is from Tresemme and I put it on the sections of the hair just before I start curling. Um, don't forget to curl in the same direction every single time you pull out the strands of hair. And I usually curl my hair away from my face. I was going for more of a loose curl versus a tight curl or like a stiff curl because I just I don't like that that much um, but if you want your curls to last longer you can obviously use products and use even the blasting free spray to kind of hold the curl And you can also keep the hair tied around the curling iron a bit longer. I was in a hurry, so... After you've done curling all your hair, you are going to attempt to take off the band around your head and i mean after that it's like was there ever even a lace come on come on anyway but um we'll still do a bit more to the lace to make it disappear even further but i'm just generally happy about how it looks right now now I'm curling the frontal bit that wasn't curled and yeah, the white part sticking out of my hair is actually the end of the lace frontal so please don't, oh, this lace was made so poorly like if I were to start complaining about this hair I would not stop but yeah, the, um, the white bit is the end of the lace, don't get worried. Um, I try to disguise it as much as possible, but yeah. Curling, curling, curling.
now i'm just gonna use my press powder to further blend the lace into my skin make it closer to my complexion um, even though it's thin and it doesn't really have color i'm now trying to create the perfect parting also using my curling wand just to like make sure that my parting is flat Now using my foundation to make sure that my parting is further defined. My wig was slightly over bleached so I have a cute little trick to fix it because I love a defined defined parting. Um, I use my mascara and I just cover up the bits that have a bit more bleach than they should. I am letting out all my bags of tricks so please comment in the comment section below if there is something that you have learned and if you could actually try installing your own hair i mean as i said this is my first time i've watched a lot of videos and they did truly help and yeah the main aim of this video was to install this lace and melt it to the guards and I think I understood the assignment. This is the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ooh. Ooh.